Hello, welcome to Midnight Messages. My name is Stacy, and I am going to do a disclaimer kind of thing. This channel is for 18 plus. If you are under the age of 18, get gone, get gone, get gone. I do not promote, nor do I sell regulated goods. That's not, mm -mm, I don't do that. But listen, I swear, I tell it like it is, and I smoke schmied, and I talk about it, all right? So if you don't like ganja, then why are you on my page? Uh, just saying, just saying. Okay, now, now. 18 and plus you're under 18 get out of here unless your parents said you could be here and the disclaimers have been said so don't say i did not warn you this will be at the beginning of every video now okay this is your warning i am unique i am different and i swear and smoke and probably do both in all my videos. Whether you see me or not. All right. That being said, peace out now on to the actual video. Bye. So, I have not been making videos for one reason and one reason only. <coughs> I've been sick. They've got me on the steroid inhalers again. They've got me on the um, inhaler again. And I'm on Flonase and Zyrtec. And apparently this season, a.k.a. allergy season, is not for me. Like, I keep... See, I sound like I'm dying. But, anyway. <laughs> you like that? But, anyway. So, there's this thing going on. And since I cannot do, like, a lot of smoking, I had to get my edibles back. Yup my edibles hold on for a second i'll be right back i'm back and now i'm going to add <laughs> add some medicine to my cup fill the little reservoir thing so you squeeze it why it's called a squeeze so this is a select squeeze thing and then you go over here and then hold up there you go Whoop. and that is about um five milligrams And I love these. I'm not sponsored by them either. But, listen. When you can't do anything, like, you can't... How do, you, how do I say this? You can barely even function. And smoking is impossible. You have to go on a smoking tolerance break which is basically what I'm doing. My lungs cannot tolerate smoking. So. Cheers. And that adds just a little bit of like peach flavor to my hot tea. And it's amazing. So I did something 
I'm really proud of myself. I went to the library and got my library card back again. Thank goodness. And then I checked out this book. Um, ooh, it's upside down. Sorry about that. Sacred Contracts. Um, Awakening Your Divine Potential. And I also have a smaller book that I rented from the library um, called Emotional Detox. Yes, because we're going to we're going to do some emotional detoxing and it's looking like my glasses are going to be turning into sunglasses because of the light that I'm using which is cool but I've just started this and I already will tell you that I recommend I recommend going to your library and getting free knowledge <laughs> Seriously, I recommend going to your local library and getting free knowledge. It's free. <laughs> it is free to go and learn about almost anything at your local library. Don't hesitate. Go, go now, get a library card, and get some free knowledge. Even just having a library card... Even if you don't use it, you still have free knowledge. You have access to free knowledge anytime you want it. Just by having that card. Really. Okay. So I have also... Sorry about that as we fall to our doom lead us. Oh, got to Yay. I think we've got it now. All right. So, back to what I was saying about books and the library. I'm actually... Just had all my cards. This is ridiculous. I like. Oh, there they are. So you're not getting my number, but this is my library card, and it's good till April of 2027. And it's free knowledge. Did I forget to say that? Okay. So, listen. Alright. That's free knowledge. Okay. And I also have... My... My... Um, whatchamacallit... I am authorized to carry five ounces of marijuana at a time because it's my medicine. Yep. So, yay, I can, I can carry as much weed as I need in the state of Connecticut. <laughs> <coughs> and again, if you did not hear me in the beginning, or it cut off and it was part of the other video that I chopped up, I've got pneumonia. I'm 100% certain that I got pneumonia. They put me on all the nice goodies. I have a whole goodie section of pharmaceuticals right now. And you guys know, I don't like taking pharmaceutical medication. I prefer my medicinal marijuana all right it helps it helps me on so many different levels that it's not even funny so when i heard that the fda is changing 
the the scheduling the classification of marijuana they're looking at changing it from a level one to a level three which means that they are now the the federal government of the united states is now recognizing that there are medicinal uses for this very very versatile plant so people like me can have access to this plant hopefully it'll be soon be covered by um insurances because this shit expensive bro it's expensive and as soon as they went wreck in my state all the prices including for medicinal got jacked through the roof just a friendly friendly observation that's all so as i said go run don't walk to your closest library and get you and get you a free pass for free freaking knowledge go do it what are you waiting for you're gonna get free knowledge and you could check out all kinds of books because like i said all right i got two interesting books and i was just browsing through the um non-fiction section in my library because i am on a healing spiritual journey and nonfiction is where i find a lot of the good um self-help books for this kind of thing so that being said go to your library get you a book <coughs> and read all right it's free free i i hear so many people are like oh if it's free it's for me but they don't go to the freaking library because they're not smart if you would go to if you go to the library you get free knowledge all right that knowledge will help you become smarter so you know all these people are like oh if it's free it's for me if it's free it's for me but you don't go to the library and get knowledge to improve your life you don't go to the library and get knowledge to improve your career you don't go to the library to get knowledge to improve your connection to yourself you don't go to the library to learn how to emotionally regulate yourself you don't go to the library and pick out books so really if it's free it's not for you because you don't go to the library and that's free see for me free knowledge free knowledge free knowledge i still think the internet should be free you shouldn't have to pay cable providers for internet connections but that's a topic for another time please come back when i'm doing ted talks right now today i'm doing weed talks all right listen Changing the classification of marijuana is a giant step in the correct direction. All right. Because, listen, I'm going to tell you just what it helps me with. It helps me with anxiety, anger, pain, depression, um, my complex post-traumatic stress disorder definitely helps with that. Um, also helps with the night terrors from said disorder. I don't wake up in the middle. I don't tend to beat people up when I have partaken in the green goddess before going to bed. It's just, it's, it's, my system can actually relax and calm itself and be woosad into a calming place of 
I am here, I am now, I am able to be. I don't have to put up a front, wear a mask, or be someone that I don't feel comfortable being. Because society has so many labels for people. All right? Society labels the shit out of people. And not all of us fit into labels. Just saying. Some of us were born to be unique, weird unicorns. It's... Hmm... <laughs> Stop letting society tell you who you should and shouldn't be. End of discussion. On that. You be who you want to be and be that magical unicorn if you want to be that magical unicorn. Seriously. I'm actually becoming validated with the things that I do with my mind lately. And it's kind of interesting because it is coming from a professional like a brain professional I am a psychic empath I'm psychic I know things I know how they're going to work out I know what's going to happen I know things I don't know how I know them I just know it's called um, claircognizance you just know what you know and you don't care. See, I have claircognizance. I have, I am clairsentient, where I just feel, I know what I feel. I know it's coming from someone else. And it's a heightened form of empathy, which is amazing. Sometimes, sometimes I get signals from people in my life that I shouldn't know. Like, if you walk near me and you just got pregnant, I know. Like, the day you get pregnant, I know. I can see it. It's in your stomach. It's like, it's a glow that comes out of your stomach. I don't know how else to explain it. But I'm always right. Always right. Always have been. Always will be. Um. Also, you know how you sometimes answer people and they're like, Oh, well, I was just thinking... Something like that. And I was going to ask you a question, but you just answered me. Yes, you are in fact a mind reader. It's telepathic communication and you're picking up on it. It is a real thing. These are real things. And science is just now catching up to the abilities that people are exhibiting. See... I'm not bipolar. I was meant to be on a shamanistic path, but because I am out of touch with my my Native American roots, because of <coughs> because of washing, I am out of touch with my Native American roots. I consider myself to be a gray witch. I'm a gray witch. I am also solitary eclectic and pagan and dominant belief just putting that there I also do believe that in it harm none and what you give out to the world comes back to you times three these are really good beliefs so <laughs> <coughs> right now I'm healing I went and got a library card so I can sit in my bed and read I even switched the position of my bed so my feet are down here and I can look up at the sky anytime I want from the head of my bed so I didn't like my head being near the window it was it was too no it just didn't feel right to me as I shimmied some stuff around, moved my bed more to the center of the window, put my feet facing the window instead of my head. My head is now towards the wall. And my TV is near the head of my bed. 
which is okay with me because I tend to watch TV sitting like I do my videos, which is fine. Um, ooh, the edibles are starting to kick in now. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you got the the camera check, but I did one of my chocolates too. Because, ooh, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Don't ask. So, I'm going to cut the video here by saying, go get a library card. It is your pass, a free pass, to free knowledge. You don't need a monthly subscription to go to the library. You don't need to pay a due or a fee to go to your library. Go get a library card and start learning. Start your journey to self-healing by learning. Learn. 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 I am here to help. I am here to teach. I am here to learn. I am a student and a teacher at all times. I know that there are things that I may know that you might not know, and I want to pass that along. I also know that there are things that you may know that I do not know, and I would love to learn from you. Thank you so much. Please pass your knowledge. Don't pass judgments, and don't pass hate. Pass knowledge. That being said, if you stayed down for the ride, and you caught my vibe, and you want to be part of my tribe... Please subscribe, like, share, comment, do your thing below. And as always, I love you guys and peace.